We produced hemp back during the war years here in Kentucky. We were the best there was. We grew more than anybody did. We used the fibers. My dad's told me the stories about how he used to just sit around as a very young kid and braid it and make whips out of it, and there was no whip made that was any stronger than a whip made out of hemp. You know, these are the facts of what's going on with this. Nobody knows exactly what the impact's going to be. Nobody knows exactly what the revenue is going to be to the producer. Nobody knows exactly what the market for this product is going to be next year, five years, ten years from now, or whenever the federal government chooses to legalize this crop. All I know is, is you don't present yourselves, and Kentucky does not present itself to be in the position to take advantage of opportunities to first be once, not to sit back and wait. There's already a couple other states that have passed this legislation that are in line. Well, let's get in line with them. Let's not study it. Let's not sit back and wait. Let's not miss the opportunity that is presenting itself right now. The opportunity is there for us to pass this legislation in both bodies this year to get the framework in place so that if and when the federal government does pass this legislation to make it legal to grow hemp in the United States, that we're prepared to seize on that opportunity, take advantage of it, bring the profits into Kentucky, raise revenues so we can pay the pension fund, we can pay for better education, we can do those things through increased revenue, job growth, and growing our economy rather than trying to penalize all of our residents throughout the states and raise their taxes when they're strapped already.